was released moments ago. Good Lord. This is an economy that you can't keep down. And that's not actually great news for the Biden administration in this, in this election year. It shows the U.S. economy added 303,000 jobs last month. Economists had expected the number to be closer to 200,000. To talk about it, let's bring in the co-anchor of CNBC's Squawk Box, Andrew Ross Sorkin, NBC News, business analyst and a host of the 11th Hour, Stephanie Rule, and a host of the podcast on brand with Donnie Deutsch, Donnie Deutsch, and president of the National Action Network and a host of MSNBC's Politics Nation, Reverend Al Sharpton, and Caddy Kay with us as well. All right, Andrew. So there's a reason why I only went into the business school for one class, Econ 101, and I sat in the back reading Sports Illustrated and probably slipped out of there with a gentleman C minus. It's because this is just so maddening. In, in economics, good news is bad news, bad news is good news. And I will admit, I was sitting here hoping that number was going to be a little bit lower so we could get those interest rate cuts. And so right. this economy would cool down. Man, you know, you can't, not, you can't cool this economy down, Andrew, can but, you? But to some extent, that's a good news is good news story because it means that we have more people coming into the workforce than before. And yet we're able to actually now have lower unemployment numbers. Uh, you're having higher wages. You're finally having uh, wages that are outstripping uh, inflation, which is a, a good trend line, um, right. especially when you think about some of the, the political dynamics that that represents. I'm not sure I look at this and say this is such terrible news. I know there was an expectation earlier in the year that the Fed might lower their interest rates. Um, this June, I think that may be off the table now. You're looking from just even the betting markets right now. That's getting pushed off a little bit, too. And, 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 and the percentage chance that that happens is now lower than it used to be. But nonetheless, I think this is this is all good news. And interestingly, you look at where the jobs are coming from. It's hospitality. It's it's education. Uh, it's it's health care. These are all high touch businesses. And that's and that also is a function a little bit of the sort of pre pandemic post pandemic world, which is it's all come back. And so the, yeah. I mean, the real question is, how long does that persist uh, till they get to sort of a steady state? But clearly, there's some good yeah. news there. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the app store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.